Today we're at the Art Centre at Tower Hamlets and we've been using 3D printing to print microscopy data so we can show people who are blind and partially sighted how amazing the biological world is. One cell will become two cells every six hours. In our blood, what these parasites do is they hide and it's essentially invisible to our immune system. Oh, it's fascinating. I want to know about science, so I listen to Radio 4 a lot and I try and listen to science programmes and I find that my mind's drifted. But this, because it's so tangible and tactile, my concentration was kept. So I think it's a fantastic way of, of conveying um, a science lesson, yeah. If you aren't able to see, engaging with biology is really difficult because microscopy is such a huge part of how we interpret biology, how we visualise, how we think of things, that if you've lacked that ability to see pictures, then you can't possibly imagine what these parasites and viruses look like. So it's been great to see how people can finally sense what a virus looks like and um, what a parasite looks like and what parts of our body look like at the higher magnifications. Actually, as a blind person who's never had the experience of sight, I had no, absolutely no idea. I always understood them to be so small that it couldn't be possible to, to see them as models. So we take a series of two-dimensional images and we reconstruct them into a format that a 3D printer can interpret and then it produces an exact replica of what we're seeing under the microscope. This kind of lesson would work really well in schools because it will demystify science. It's so useful for not only for people who are partially sighted but for the general public. Seeing this is so much more engaging than just seeing an image. To have the opportunity to get the tactile impression was fantastic. I, I like the way that Chris and Louise spoke to us about what are highly scientific and technical concepts in a way that we could all understand, which was brilliant. So I've taken a lot away from it, really. This virus here is a deno-associated virus. If you were to take an average human and make it the same magnification as this virus, the human lying down would stretch from London to Athens. So this is 1.5 million times magnification. It's really quite incredible. I think the best thing about this event is that people who've not had a chance to engage in science before have come away amazed at the world of biology. We are going to be showing these elsewhere and the models will be available for schools to borrow.